All right, guys, here we're going to talk about the movie Chupacabra Terror. 2005's Chupacabra Terror, Lee, had you seen it before? No, had you? I hadn't, but I did see the commercial. Oh! And it made me okay. very interested. Sure. Less interested after <laughs> I saw it, but the commercial, it had me. Okay, um, it's a monster movie? It is a monster which, movie. Which I realize we must call a creature a feature, technically. But uh, the creature is a monster, so it's a creature. It's a monster. You know what I'm saying. The thing that sets this one aside is you've got Gus from Breaking Bad. I know. You've got Gimli himself here, or as I know him, Arturo from Sliders. <laughs> I, I was going to be like, or as I know him, from Sliders, where he plays Beethoven. And you're like, that is, that's the wrong, you flipped it and you flipped it. Like, what are you doing? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Rembrandt is the other one. I'm no, I know, <laughs> okay. I know, I know. Okay, okay. <laughs> That's like, I was thinking of the, I was thinking of the dog. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, what? <laughs> uh, it, it's, it's everything you would expect from a sci-fi, like, original no, style like, movie uh, about yeah. Chupacabra on a cruise ship, which is yeah. another twist uh, that I, I, I enjoy. No, it, it is completely standard. There's a few moments that stood out that I'll mention, and then mm. we'll somehow fill up the other 25 minutes, I imagine. Exactly. Once we're done talking no, the, about that. The goat sucker looks yeah. good. Uh, Listen, there's lots to cover in the spoiler section. Yeah, there's lots to cover, and like it is like like whatever you expect this movie to be is exactly what it is. It's a chupacabra, and it's terrible. All right, guys. So if you've seen it or don't care, follow the spoilers, and if not, pull out now. If you need a place to rent content, you better listen. We're Cannibal Video, and we eat the competition. All right, so here we are for the spoilers on a chupacabra terror. Chupacabra dies at the end. Spoilers. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, ruined it for you. No, I actually really, because like, uh, it's kind of funny, because it, it ends like all these movies do, where it's like the pressure and the reactor and the yeah, thing, yeah. and it goes like, and like blows up or whatever. <laughs> but it's like fun. It's like a CG explosion -y thing or whatever. And leading up to that, they take a lot of steps that I think are often skipped by these movies where, like, a grenade fucks him up. <laughs> then we trank him, like, th like point blank in the neck with that sauce that the doctor had. <laughs> then it's like, oh, shit, what do I do now? He's, like, distracted. I got this raw wire out of nowhere. Let me just zap him. Like, like, in my head, I was like, oh, this is great. This is going to explain how they're able to get away and trap them and do all these things or whatever. Yeah. And then he shows up and he's, like, clean, I think? Yeah. And he's like, I'm still the Chupacabra, though. And, and they just have to, like, slam the door, right? Yeah, no, it was it was a, like a lot of setup for I feel like nothing like mm. we just we threw out the kitchen sink at it we had this thing because ultimately when you hand wave this whole he's bulletproof he's still coming like it, it's like well how does the tranquilizer dart get him I took careful aim to inject the serum into its neck the animal's only soft spot in the like, neck in the weak spot in the neck the soft neck uh, no one no one would ever shoot at at something's neck just that's accidentally so dumb they're using <laughs> and, and eventually they're using like you know like hollow point shells or whatever yeah, and they yeah. are doing damage they show up with better but bullets I by, by the way why there's no damage his blood is neat oh, yeah they, neon green that's something else too is like we oh we we have better bullets and we can actually hurt them we're going to the armor piercing ammo this thing's got a shell on it these don't stop it nothing will He's bleeding, yes, we can fight. And I'm like, that's, this is Predator. It's just neon green blood or whatever. And he's like, The like suit doing is pretty thing. cool. Like, yeah. it is not your average chupacabra looking thing. Like, it is large. He's like six foot tall. It's a practical effect. Yeah, yeah. It's like, a, it's a fun suit. It's Peters, on your flank. It's coming right at me. <laughs> it looks similar to like the Buffy the Vampire Slayer, yeah. like Creature from the Black <laughs> Lagoon type of thing. I consider that like a spoiler, so I saved it for here, but mm -hmm. I'm glad you're saying like, yeah, it's like a dude in a suit. There's like a yeah. lot of dude in a suit here. There's some CG, but they shouldn't have even done this. They should have skipped that. 
And yeah. the guy in the suit, you know, it's fine. He has a weird face with like a weird nose, and I'm like, what are you? Which is like the proper reaction. No, I, I like you that. They like, do some fun time remapping stuff whenever he attacks, so like it uh, looks faster and more impressive than it is. Because I, I feel like that suit probably is not very mobile. Like he can't probably do a lot. I read it weighed 40 pounds, and oh. he was in it for like 12 to 14 hours a day, so he's probably just crippled in there after so long. <laughs> they don't even take him out at the end. He's just dead in there. Yeah, they get a new guy. Uh. They had two suits. Rotate, wash oh. it out, give the next guy. I, I don't know. Like it's it's a weird thing, just because a lot of those those hand waved things of, of mm. just like what it is. Uh, like the, the they catch it in a net, <laughs> but then it breaks out of like a prison cell thing, like it's nothing. And I'm like, how does the net hold him? What what, what, what yeah. did you do here? So you mean when it gets out of the crate? Yeah, I like that it was it. a cage inside yeah, a crate. Yeah, yeah. And it wasn't just, because everything just goes, I don't know, put him in a, in a crate with a couple of nails aiming the direction that like he would push out. We'll be fine. But it was, yeah, it was, it was like a, a jail cell inside there. Yeah, but it also like just opened, it seemed like. It, like he like burst it through, yeah. yeah where I'm he's like, very oh. strong. He moves those pipes off our yeah. boy at the end. Like he's he's a strong uh, chupacabra. He's, he's a strong boy. <laughs> yeah. He's definitely been... He's hitting the Training, gym. I don't know what the chupacabra's doing. But what makes it even funnier, like, is, like, take shock under the face, no damage at all. <laughs> but then, like, little girl who teaches Taibo is like, haka, okay. haka, haka! Kick and down, kick and down, and punch, uppercut, punch, uh huh. And I'm like, what so, the fuck is this? In my, like, quick litany of all the stuff that happens to uh -huh. him, I left out that the first thing that happens is he has to kickbox with the Taibo chick. <laughs> Yeah. And I'm like, wait, this is, what's going on? She's super familiar too, and yeah. I couldn't place exactly what I know her from, but I was like, I know you from something. The SEALs, they may have some explosives. Kaylee Quo Quo from uh, Big Bang Theory. Yeah, that, <laughs> she's, she's in her fair share of little B-movies. I should have said from the one. new girl, so I totally wrong. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, so it's familiar to me too. And, yeah. and at first I was like, is this creepy? What's going on? You're made of freckles. Are you a lover interest? Are you, oh, you're you're also the daughter. What's happening? This is so confusing. They play Whatever. a possibility of a love interest thing. And I was like, wait a minute, what? How old is he? Right. And But what's strange though is like, cause he was the love interest on the Sabrina the Teenage Witch show. Hey, pause off the remote. Like two years before this, but he looks like he's like 47 now. Sir, I was U.S. Marine Special Ops, Operation Desert Heat. And I'm like, how did he play a college student like two years before this? I don't know this dude at all, so. I only know him from that. I'm sure yeah. he's in other things, but like that's where he jumps out. I'm like, oh, he was the fiance on Sabrina the Teenage Witch. Aaron, I am so sorry. Yeah, he just looked like a random, this is like the Fed guy. There's a Fed yeah. on the boat. Oh, I'm having trouble with this movie. There's so much that happens. He's in a Fed posing as an insurance guy. Would you introduce Lance Thompson? Insurance salesman, and please don't worry, I have left all policies at home. I am here strictly on vacation. <laughs> he's, an, he's an insurance Fed, your typical whatever. Yeah, I know. Right, and he's there. So he's, so he's there, like, like, you know, when do we slide? And the guy's like, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm the slide man. Guilty as charged. For a lot of the people in this, you're like, you're like you are serious actors. <laughs> what, are what are you doing, doing here? here? Well, Gus and is like the bit, right? It's Gus, gonna... I think, is the one that like jumps out to me because like like uh, it's Davies day does a Gus. lot of yeah. like bad things There's with his good schlock, things. Yeah. Like I love him in uh, like The Lost World and like stuff. Like mm -hmm. he like he he does B movies. He's fine. He'll, like, he I think he's just anything. a fun guy. Yeah. Well, actually, those are mythological and fictitious creatures. My field of study is the chupacabra. He will never lose. And Sci-Fi like, Channel like, from has him, him like, yes. like yeah, we, we, we we got Slider's money here. It's Get a paycheck. I want Yeah. Yes. But but like Gus, I'm like I'm like all right, man. Yeah. You're making chicken. And now you're hunting the chupacabra. This is pre Breaking Bad, yes, obviously, is. right? Yeah. So they hadn't discovered him yet, but like this almost ruins Gus. Like like like. For your safety, I ask you all. Anyway. Part of me was like, wait, was, was Gus just playing it so like reserved that I filled in the gaps and this guy actually sucks? I'm like, what's going on? Because it is literally it's, night and day where is, I'm yeah. like, you and suck. that accent he's doing, <laughs> yes. like all that. I was wondering, since I just boarded, perhaps you could give me a tour of the ship. Sure. I love his like opening, his like, but doctor, leave him. Leave him. <laughs> but, but doctor, leave him. Doctor. No. No. <laughs> yeah, because you have to know that he's hard as fuck. Yeah. Gus is hard. In my notes, I went, well, Gus is hard as fuck. Okay, good, good, good. I said, let's go! Check. Got it. This is later. Like, my, my life's goal has been to catch this chupacabra. What are you doing with it? But my, my life's work. Gone. 
Like, once you've caught it, you could be publicly, I have a What's chupacabra. Have sex Why is the secrecy? And yeah. and furthermore, is he a psychic? Like, once the thing has escaped in the in the in the ship, he like hears an alarm, runs, pins a door open. Like, for anyone, the viewer especially, a random door. Door breached. There was no like alarm like, they're in section C, he, he can escape to the one door. Like he runs right to that door and pins it open. The one door that was needed to keep this thing to murder everybody. And honestly, why would trapping it have been a problem for him? I repeat, all passengers and non-essential crew, return to your quarters in an orderly fashion and remain there until further notice. He had it trapped on the boat. That was his whole thing. Trapping it on the boat was the goal. I, the I don't get why he wanted it loose and it's why he's hiding it and helping there, and jumping. There, and there's this weird thing. So like, so like we, we 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 don't have the trope where he secretly worships it and like yeah. would find it like an honor to be killed by it. Mm -hmm. He seems to want it in like the traditional sense. Yeah, like in a like, zoo or yeah, something. Yeah, of like capturing it and getting the fame, my life's work. But we also get this weird thing where he's also like trying to stop them from killing it in like a weird way. But yeah. yeah. I, I had the same reaction to that scene where I'm like, there's a fire extinguisher in like the submarine door that's yeah. hatching closed. And you're just like, what is this? Like, like what does he, and, and, and I'd, I'd like forgotten. I was like, what does he know that I don't know that I'm about to be shown? Mm -hmm. Nothing. Nothing. We no. just had it to be, we just had to have it we not needed be more trapped. plot. Yeah. Yes. We, we weren't done with the plot yet. Where's yeah. the door open? But like, there were some good things. I, hmm. I, I like that when they call in for help, they say it's a terrorist. Terrorist? Well, what else am I going to do? Tell them we have an, a demon from hell aboard this ship. Send a psychiatrist in a straitjacket. Because, yeah. like, yes, that's how you actually get help. Like, yeah, and, you, and they you, call you it don't out say, too. I have a cool. chupacabra on board. So, like, that worked. Like that's a serious chupacabra infestation. So, yes. like, my, my check marks of, like, things that are good are having a cage inside the crate and calling in terrorists. Okay. So, like, no, there, honestly, is, though... Is, is there a third? <laughs> we might come across a third. In, in, in my mind right now, it's just two. But Tens honestly, having Perfect. two things that are good and that are against the grain of things that are usually in every one of these movies, that's pretty good. Yeah. That's yeah. pretty good. Who do you think I am? Houdini? What if your life depended on it? I thought it was ambitious for them to weave in the plot of like the weird grifter playboy, yeah. dirty rotten scoundrel guy. This is hard. Oh, may I escort you to the casino? Well, thank you. Uh, please call me Millie. But to also have him like not know what movie he's in and be playing it like I'm like this isn't even funny if this was a comedy. But you're not. Yeah. You're not opposite Chevy Chase. You're not like fucking bantering. Don't you ever have an emotion? that originates above the waist. No! You're just when like, says, I can't open the safe. Like, fucking... <laughs> he says something like he's caught red-handed, like, moving large stacks How of money. How did that get in there? I, like, uh, <laughs> oh, I was lost! Yeah. Idiot. I thought this was a shortcut. He's like literally like if like money were chocolate, he would have money like like all over his yeah, face. Yeah. He'd be like disgusting. It's like totally. But even that, I could not even in like 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 enjoy the humor of it any. Right? There wasn't. Humor. There's no like it doesn't punch through the whole thing. You're just like he jumps in, yeah. does like a diehard moment, like crawls through the ducts and like oh. escapes. In danger of sinking, and this is taken merely as a precautionary measure. And did I blink and just miss it? I could have sworn he got into the duct as a man and got out of the duct dressed as an old lady. Uh, Did there, he change beforehand? So two things. I know he saw the wig and like yes, yes, acknowledged yes. things. So like two things. First, he gets into like a different room where there's like the old lady stuff or mm -hmm. maybe some other old lady stuff. I don't even know anymore. But the point is he finds the disguise. He's like picking up like, oh, pearls and jewels. And like yeah, the yeah. lost, you know, gem of Rakham Shah, and then he goes like, "Oh, a wig, sweet! I can just pretend to be an old." All right, but 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 we no. don't see him change, though, right? No. Okay, okay. Because no. that's what I was, I was like. He, Wait gets a in, he gets into a cocoon, and then whatever. So I, yeah, I think off camera you might have to assume that he goes back into the vent as a, you know, as like a fake lady now. But there's something more important. When he lifts the grate up. Mm. 
Mm -hmm. That scene is so good. It's like carried only by the sound design because he's literally, he has like a thing that uh, that you would like uh, put cookies on to cool. And he's just pushing it towards the camera. But but they play, ding, 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 ding. They're playing these noises like he's like, 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 like unhatching the thing and it's like dragging like heavy metal. But it's literally just like this, like like Chef Depot thing, like wrapping off, and then this, and like just oh, it's it's. I, I laughed out loud. I was like, thank you for finally giving me something to appreciate here. I laughed out loud when they're like going to some random closet and there's just like muskets inside it, like <laughs> the guns that don't make sense to be on a, a cruise ship, and they're just dispensed to the crew. And I'm like, okay. Hey, what's going on? Nothing, Mr. Randall. Time to clean the firearms. That's all. Have a nice evening. This like is like chef, random like minimum whoever. wage guy, and you're like, yeah, here you go. You take all these guns. Let's let's go see what happens. What? <laughs> Listen, your lack of familiarity with maritime law is no excuse for these complaints. This is how it works. Or when, it's like the old west, but it's wet. When FBI agent pulls the gun out of the back of his pants, yeah. I'm like, your shirt is tucked in. Mr. Thompson, will you escort my daughter and Dr. Pena to their cabins, please? Of course. Insurance salesman. And the best insurance you've got. That wasn't hidden anywhere. What are you he pulls doing? underpants out. He's like, ah! It was just like a series of things like that that just kept making me laugh. I was, I was like, okay, yeah. this is fine. Like, no, no, no. The, like, like, just real quick. The, the, there's a great scene where he's like escorting the daughter away, mm -hmm. and yeah, he's like walking with that gun just like popped out. And it's like, pushing, 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 pushing. You're like, you're, you're like watching the gun and it's it doesn't like make, like in my head I was like wardrobe, whatever, continuity, mm -hmm. script person, someone look and be like, that's done, put it in your fucking pocket. We don't care. Like, why are you showing us the gun? Yeah, no, yeah. <laughs> foolish. <laughs> Some funny things here. There's a part, just speaking of Gus's like impeccable acting, there's a part where like on the page, I was like, oh, this like sings. When he, when he like, re he like pops out of a door and like has the paddles and he like, somebody broke into the ship's vault. They like, you know, zaps the guy and then he goes, clear. And this like, I'm yeah. doing it too good. Clear. <laughs> Sorry about that. Come on. He did it so bad, it was so weirdly delivered. I was like, gosh, your delivery, what are you doing, baby? They laugh at my research. Just because a species isn't cataloged doesn't mean it's non-existent. I did like that though. And <laughs> it's I, good. I love, I love she turns and again, cause you know, she's fucking Tai Bo and she just starts fighting him and then he like stabs her in the ass with a syringe. <laughs> Which made me happy because in my head he was gonna stab the chupacabra with that, and I was like, he's bulletproof. You can't be putting needles into the things. The soft neck <laughs> of the no, chupacabra. Nothing is soft. He's a goat sucker. It's a soft. The goat doesn't know about the soft neck. Now you gotta think for when that guy is fighting yes. other alpha males, they probably have tough necks because they're used to biting necks. That would be the hardest part of his body. You gotta shoot him in the genitals. I was well, a chupacabra has an exoskeleton, except where it needs the most mobility in it. You know in its neck region, but you would have thought that the chupacabras would have developed some sort of cultural uh, garb, some sort of armor that they could have worn, right? That would have covered the soft neck, the luxurious. They are very human ish yeah. to not have any real human qualities or levels of intelligence or whatever it is like. Did you like that we're not at all treated to any like backstory? We, we don't go to like yeah. chupacabra village or something no. where they go, yeah. Yeah, they just brought a goat into the woods and dropped a net and it's they got him. <laughs> And also, I I have a feeling that was like a B team thing shooting that scene because okay. I don't think they even knew what it was gonna be because the net drops and it pretty much just covers a dude yeah. and there's no chupacabra in there. Mm. And then when we later see what the chupacabra is, you're like, that's a six foot tall monster. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Where the fuck is it? <laughs> Well, he was eating the dude so quickly that like the 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 bump looked smaller. I don't think he's actually there because I don't think they would have put the guy in costume for that no. like that scene. He's obviously so not there. Just not absolutely. there. And you just see like the dart like moving. And yeah. <laughs> And 
you're like, like yeah, it's, it's kind of cool, like how it attacks. It's like you know, it vampire dashes and just like takes people's yeah. necks and shoves them down and stuff like. It there's works. A, there's a few parts where it kind of looks like uh, it's like glitching or something. I yeah, that's like, the oh, time shit. remapping stuff. No, I think it, about. there are some that are like pure CG. Oh yeah, where it's okay. like you look like the Grudge Lady, Samara the Grudge Lady. Mm. There's like two, I think. One he's like in a vent, like yeah, I'm cranking, I'm going. He's just like made of CG. It's <laughs> like really, really funny. That's what I mean. Like some of those shots where you were like, we have to insert something here. I'm like, just, just cut to the next scene. <laughs> Don't show me yeah. that. Or that, like, that do that first worse. person thing. Just like run yeah. the camera through it and just yeah. cut to, maybe tint the vision. Going through the vent, give chupacabra vision, yeah. tint, it, tint it green, yeah. I, was, I read they were going to make him have glowing red eyes, but said, we want realism. And, oh. and honestly, that if, if it was a CG monster, the glowing red eyes would have been fine, but yeah. like you have a nice practical effect. Like Why fuck with that? Yeah, I remember when you finally get like you know, like a real close up and you see like like the stunt man's like eyes yeah, through yeah. the suit. I was like, oh, it's a blah, blah. they like they're comfortable enough to zoom in that that close yeah. into its face. Like, no, it, nice. it, it looks it works. like a nice, it's good, proper suit. It sticks on there. The it's face a moves. hero. Yeah. That commander is our terrorist. So the other dumb thing I have is is I love that like the military shows up and they're like just wearing bicycle helmets, <laughs> like they're not in like military helmets. And Safety maybe, first. Maybe like nautical like you know helmets look different than the ones I'm used to, but they looked very much like the one any kid has at a skate park. <laughs> I didn't catch that. My favorite part about the military is when he's like he's just pressing the button. I'm sorry, sir. You're breaking up. I can't hear you. Wait, wait, come in. It's like. Yeah, he's like, you're breaking up. He just keeps hitting it, but he's like, he's not like selling it. Like I'm a dastardly person doing a plan. Sir, I'm losing you, sir. I repeat, get everyone off that ship immediately. Do you read me? Over. No. It just played off like this is how I operate this. Well, like, it was super that guy weird. didn't come across as an amazing badass. Yeah. He, like for all the things he's supposed to be doing, because like I didn't really. I was like, okay, what is your motivation here? Like your friends died, and you're like, I want to yeah. kill this thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get that, he but you don't. Him. You're not playing that angle. Like, it doesn't no. feel like that. He's just a character. random guy who's like, he Henry oh my, Rollins in oh there. my god, he's dead. Like, yeah, it was like that type of shit. And you're like, God. The doctor, like, there's like two people that are massacred at one point he's like they're dead well they're definitely dead <laughs> i'm like what, what? <laughs> of course they're dead of course they're dead there's soup there's stuff everywhere most of the deaths didn't look that great but there's yeah. one dude who's like cut in half and he's oh, still alive that's fun. and that is a primo death i always like, like all right that's fun shit and even like so like gus dies and i and i thought like at first you're like wait finally he's he's like slain and literally you know literally it's like rawr, and then it cuts to, to like the wall where yeah. someone throws the blood off, you know on the wall I'm like that's it are you kidding but then no 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 i i People, did write down yes. like what the fuck what the shit is and this and then it wasn't like he got that much better of a no, send off but, but it, you, you do get to see it yeah he has like the the like slash mark makeup and mm -hmm. his blood come on Benny, stay with me stay with me like i expected it to cut to him on the ground with like a little blood falling out of his mouth and be like are you kidding this yeah. is fun to build up but no he gets a little speech like oh, i'm dying and stuff i'm like mm -hmm. okay soon you will all be dead and it will live there's a ridiculous composite shot when they're dropping the the raft off the side. Like oh, it, yeah. it's like this weird. But then like the next moment shows it like a lot better. And I was like, wait a minute. Yeah. Do they have abilities here? No, we're cautious. We don't want any accidents. No, no. Like um, you know, this is 2005. But like there was a point where, and 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 this is why this movie was ultimately so tolerable, but also so like boring and neutral for mm -hmm. me, is because like. There's a certain charm you would get from a movie that would have like a bad miniature, yeah. and this is bad CG in the same slot where you're like, well, that's just a bad, like fucking, it just sucks. Yeah. You just have to, it's like one shot, and you're like, that sucks, and it's cut, you you're like cut away, it's fine. Mm -hmm. Where I'm like, all right, you gotta show me the ship. At least they're showing me the ship. A little explosion pops off later, and you're yeah. like, ooh, look at that, look at the ship. Yeah, I like when when these guys like, so do you think they'll give you another ship? No. I don't think so. That'll be the last one for me. I think I'm retired. I think that's my last ship. Time to retire. Write the memoirs. That still only counts as one. <laughs> he pops off the thing. I love him so much. I remember that well. Ah! My medications. <laughs> <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
Yeah, that guy was amazing. Oh my god, that scene is it's so he... bad. And then he just gets like snatched. <laughs> That to me, like, that's why I don't like acting. Cause I'm like, what if I'm trying as hard as that guy and it comes out like that? What if I'm just assuming this is a joke? This is what a joke looks like. I'll just do it. And then everyone going, oh fuck, Cause that if sucks. he would just approach that as angry, like, like, like you are better than them. Like Something, a rich person yeah. would behave. Like, forget your bag. No, don't forget my, I need my Medicaid. Like, you know, like, yeah. like get in on them. But like that whole like, ah, they like were, so what like, the fuck is that? <laughs> Yeah, like the joke is supposed to be that he's pathetic or whatever, but he doesn't even really die there. You have a whole other section yeah. where you can show him being pathetic, and like that's a missed opportunity where like when when he cracks the safe, like you, like it would have been so satisfying if like up until then he was like, well that was all like an act. I'm always acting. I'm always fucking mm. around. And now I'm like awesome. And then I go oh or something, and like I'm like selfish, and I and I and I fuck it up for myself or whatever. I wanted, like, and no. this is totally a different direction. <laughs> I wanted the green goo blood that like. If it gets on you, you become you a chupacabra. A <laughs> and like, like it just, it felt like they were framing something because like you saw like him like bleeding like, out and you saw the green blood and I was, I was like, oh, is oh. he, is he gonna like zombie out or something? Is, oh, oh. <laughs> oh no. Wow. I, I, I'm like jealous and I feel bad for you. That you went through that. I want. I just. I, well, I, didn't even I, think I pictured about it, yeah. if I was. Well, I'm like. I was. It's awesome. I'll like. What is the best way? How would I have done this? And I would have had the yeah. the group. Our, our you know our heroes, the insurance salesman, captain, daughter. <laughs> they would they would have found. They're like, oh, it's the old man wig or the old lady wig, and it it would have been attached to his scalp. Or and they were like, ah, oh, what oh, the hell? And so, then he would have. Ah. I was just laughing because I was picturing you know in like grim ones when there's like the lady grim. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That could be. Now he's a chupacabra, but he's still wearing the disguise. Uh -huh. So he's like. Rawr. He's like, he's like a little purse. <laughs> he has the wig on. Jeffrey does not drink from a soup bowl. But madam, I thought Captain, that... I don't think it's common for your staff to talk back to the guests. The mushroom treatment? The fuck is that? Kept in the dark and fed lots of shit. <laughs> you know, I'm really tired of getting the mushroom treatment. Mushroom treatment, what's that? Being left in the dark and fed a lot of crap. Maybe she said crap. Crap. I forget who says it. It must be uh, John Reese Davis. Reese, Reese Davis. It must be him, cause uh, when like when like the daughter cocks the gun and he's like, "That's my girl." Not a problem. That's my girl. Right. That I was like, my god. <laughs> That's when he's like, "You two should fuck." When he's doing this weird thing. Ugh. He like kisses her on the forehead at one point, and I'm like, "Ah, oh, that sells it. You're your daughter now. All right." I'll see you real soon, right? course you can bank on it love you baby i always oh. love these things where it's always two completely different like accents and whatever and the mothers are never in the picture yeah. or the fathers depending on what the, the convenience of the plot just this thing like oh, i i grew up in the states and the i fucking, did this and even just the way she says the states i'm like you're not you don't have any there's zero influence like yeah. that again who this you know scripts must just exist and they don't even know what's going to happen right because that's a line where like even having her say the states is meant to imply oh but you're being influenced by both of these cultures yeah, yeah. but her fucking clunky delivery and the lack of chemistry. Really, you don't sound British. My mother's American. I grew up in the States. Ah, I see. Of literally, like, if you, like, drew, like, the Pepe Sylvia, like, like, yarn graph, no one has any charisma with anyone. Half the employees in this building have been made up. This office is a goddamn ghost town. I think it makes any no, sense. No, and I didn't it's just horrible. like her at all. Yeah. I just think that, like, her and our main character, the age difference is so dramatic that I'm like, I can't picture anything happening here ever. Are you trying to hit on me? <laughs> Wouldn't dream of it, sweetheart. And, even, and honestly, yeah. the Asian ones might not physically be there, say, but they look yeah. like like she looks like a high school kid, and 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 he looks like a guy who like teaches at a high school. Yes, that like is about to get tenure. <laughs> <laughs> no, exactly, exactly. I'm glad that you pointed out like we don't know how old the actors and actresses. Yeah, were, I didn't look it but up. But I felt the same way. And I'm like, this is completely wrong because even in her in her like montage of everyone's going about their day, and mm -hmm. she's like teaching the class. She's like uppercut punch like she's not like like there's no scene of her like hitting a heavy bag with like the sunlight no, coming in the little porthole and it's like oh oh it's like linda hamilton doing doing pull-ups in her like cell and like the thing which is so badass so then later you go of course she could kick the, the, the trooper cobra's ass none of that you son of a bitch but he says it like in the worst i'm not acting way like he's like you 
son of a bitch. You son of a bitch. Hold on, Doug. Let's hear him out, all right? You actually expected there to be, like, a waiter or something, because there's a line, like, and don't hang with the wait staff or something, that you that she would have a boyfriend yes. that, like, you know, either is, a like, a ruffian or this and that or whatever or could win over the captain's love. Like, something that, like, your average movie would do. Get it. Keep away from the kitchen stuff. Yeah. Uh, and we had two cutaways to, like, you know, kitchen staff. Let's do, do and, this, like, yeah. they're like, ah, whooping crane or something. And Don't tell me, dude. Demoted again? Shut up. <laughs> Start scraping, dude. The dude gets thrown off and they die. And the most inconvenient, like, the light switch, like, moment. Oh. <laughs> You reminded me of all these little tiny things that yeah. I was like, what the fuck? That garbage room thing made me think. I'm like, that can't be how a garbage room That's works. That's the garbage shit. room. That's the garbage room. Like, the garbage just comes out of shoot into a room? Yeah. Like, but it's it's not like a room that's like, like there's a pull-up door to the outside of the ship. Like, does, how do you then clean that room? Do they, people are like, all right, now well, everyone's done the clean. We'll pick two by two and take all well, the trash like the, outside. The, the whole floor just opens up. There's just a pile of trash behind the boat or something. Uh, my, 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 my original answer was going to be, yeah, the Grinch comes in and eats it. Uh, oh, the Chupacabra looks like the Jim Carrey Grinch. Uh, he has the nose. Oh, fuck. What is that stench? It's fantastic. Hmm. Max. Grab a bag. There was just like a loose cantaloupe in there, and I was like, "You gonna eat that cantaloupe?" Fuck this room. What the fuck? <laughs> what even happens in that room? I forget that entire segment of the movie. I remember. Oh, oh my god! Setup. No, that, that that's amazing. The the military, the trained operatives, mm. just shoot a garbage shaft a thousand times. Everyone that has a gun just shoots wildly yeah. without seeing anything, and they're always shooting the thing you can see. It's in there! They're like, blank wall. There's like garbage bags that it could be hiding in. We don't shoot those at all. Those pop but like off anything anyway. that you could see, because that's where like where squibs, I guess, would be, like you're just shooting. Uh, like, That's another. See, we have the blood now. This is the other homage to Predator when they all unload on, you know, on the jungle. They unload on literally nothing in that scene, and, and then, then later on, and then they like, go, "Ah, oh, we didn't get it. Fuck." <laughs> our only trained, like you know, uh, survivor uh, is just wildly shooting until he runs out of bullets. Switches to his pistol, is wildly shooting. <laughs> our main characters are only saying, "There are civilians. Stop shooting." Hold your fire. No civilians down yet. She's fine. <laughs> There are civilians! <laughs> like, please stop shooting! And he's like, I got this. <laughs> Fire in the hole! <laughs> throws the yeah. grenade. He literally throws the grenade that lands like two feet away. And everyone's yeah, just our boy like, has to like throw it further away. Yeah, like, ah, <laughs> like, oh, whatever. Yeah. Nah. Movie sucks. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Let us know in the comments below what you thought about it. Don't die in a fire, and we'll see you next time. If you want to support the show, head over to cannibalvideo.com, pick up some merch. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Yeah, that's all right. Yeah, that's something. Whatever. Fuck these motherfuckers. What the hell is that thing? The Chupacabra. Cannibal Video has everything you need. Shit.